Hi guys! Today I'm going to be taking you through First Light and we're going to be farming different kinds of herbs so you guys can make some money. Um, right now in First Light you can get saffron, nutmeg, cinnamon, and dill from all the bushes and I'm going to show you where I'm starting. It's right outside the northeast gate so northeast gate is here starting in this corner right here and then back up on the map a little bit so you guys can see you asked for a bit more map being shown because I go through it too quickly so thank you for the feedback we're gonna be going from here to our left up towards the Hatchburg fishery in this area to farm some strawberries and potatoes potatoes are here strawberries are here so let's work that way it's gonna be quite a bit of a long route I'd say like 10 minutes but it's worth it if you want to make some money so saffron is going for about six gold on my server at the moment uh, nutmeg is 10 to 11 gold a piece cinnamon is about seven gold on my server and dill is about six gold here's the second or the third note actually that i normally go to one two three and we're gonna work our way up this way at some point so we're gonna go back to the farm through the fishery across to day spring mills around this area and go in like a rectangular shape and then come through the farm to get some corn, potatoes, or cabbage, and then back to the beginning of the route. So we head towards the farm. There's one more area that actually spawns herbs to my left. So here, one, two, three, four. Then we cut across to get some strawberries. There's a few zombies back here and they're like level six or so. So it's a decent starting area. Anyone can grab vegetables or fruit. Strawberries are back here. There's like four or five nodes that spawn and they're going for 15 gold a piece right now on my server. Potatoes are at like one gold a piece. And I run through here. Oh, we aggroed a zombie. <laughs> He's mad. So there's squash that f spawns in this area. Across the way where all the purple guys are. There's some corn that normally spawns. And to my far right, where I'm pointing with the cursor, is where all the potatoes spawn. So I take this back road, I'm going to jump over some things. Life Bloom spawns in this area to the left of me, and then I go straight back here. The herbs normally spawn on the mature trees. So there's a patch right here. I'm going to show you on our map where we just were. We came through the back of the fishery and then straight across this way. And now we're just going to go in a straight line and then we're going to take a left. So straight through here. There's normally more herb that, herb that spawns here but someone's picking at the moment. Cross this path. So I go in this area between the trees to see where the swans are at. Sometimes there's some on the left, but right now they're just on these back trees. There's one here, one here show you guys on the map oh no there's a corruption in the area 
This is where I normally farm. So I just go across the street. Hopefully we can still see some stuff with the corruption being here. Some herbs to my right. Some herbs on these back trees. And then I just farm in between all these different trees over here. Once again, I'll show you the map. And there's so many nodes here. It rarely gets picked because almost everyone sticks to Everfall or Windsward right now. Then I work my way up into the farmlands. I'm just gonna bypass all the corruption. <laughs> There's a bunch of herbs that spawn right here, too. I'm gonna hide my UI. See more herbs back here. All in this area, it's just like bunches and bunches. So if I sell cinnamon or something, I'll probably make like 350 a day. Probably sell like 50 between these big round, I guess they're like, they're not boulders, but some kind of weird structure. We work our way into the farms. If you need cabbage, this is the cabbage spot I go to. Corn is also in the area. And if you want to continue down this road to the right, there's a bunch more herbs that spawn. So, down this road. All the way down and then back up. But we're going to start heading back now, so we're just going to go straight down this way. And go back to the beginning spawns. Kind of aggroing the zombies but it's okay down this way is a brown house with a provision crate that i like to get before i go back around so it's right here i already looted it but it gives a decent amount of like cabbage onions and a bunch of other good stuff Sometimes you'll also get like a recipe drop, so something good to have since recipes go for a decent amount of money as well, depending on what tier you get. These are normally like the tier, I think tier three, tier two. Now come back down this road towards the beginning again. And there's a little bit that spawn on this tree here. And we make our way back to the beginning. So this is a starting area where I start my route all over again. We just go back in a loop and do the same thing so here we go i hope this helped you guys so it's kind of like a triangular pattern here across and then back or you can go here in this rectangle up down this way to get corn cabbage if you want and then back down so it's up to you you can modify it and make it more simple or whatever you want to do and i appreciate you guys for watching thank you to those who subscribed and i'll see you guys soon bye